So verse 2. Goodness gracious, we're only at verse 2. As they served Yahuwah and fasted, the Holy Spirit came, said, Separate Barnabas and Saul for me for the work to which I have called them. Everybody has a different calling. Then when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. They gave them the blessing, like, go ahead. You know, we want to lay hands on you. Go do, go do what Yah's calling you to do. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit. Sent out by the Holy Spirit. I would really love, I would love oh. the details of verse two. I would love to see how that played out. Were they all in the room praying? And then a prophet spoke. That's probably, that's my first inclination to, to believe that that's the way it went, around, it went down. Remember when we were reading the book of Judges and I asked, when the Spirit spoke, I wonder how that happened. Like, did they hear, did everybody hear the audible voice of Yah? And then Milo pointed out how the priest at that, at that time was Phinehas. The high priest was Phinehas. So Yah was speaking through the priest. Whenever you see the scriptures, Yahuwah said many times he's speaking through his mouthpieces and they were the priests in those times or the prophets, the prophets of mouthpieces. So I wonder because verse one started off with they went to Antioch and there were prophets and teachers there. So they're all praying in the spirit. They're fasting. And Yah uses a prophet to say, this is what Yah is telling me. This is what I hear Yah saying. Separate. Barnabas and Saul. So it's not necessarily a shepherd who's saying it. It's not necessarily a teacher. It's not. Ne it's a. It's somebody who heard from you. That's the way I'm assuming. I know it doesn't get into the details, but I'm assuming because that's the role of a prophet. A prophet is a hearer, a seer. He can like he has a heavy connection with Yah to hear his audible voice. Because some people would read this and it would just go right over their head, like, "Oh yeah, the Holy Spirit called. The Holy Spirit said." So some people are thinking just like either everybody heard the audible voice in the room. It's possible. But I'm just thinking about like in a functioning, normal way an assembly would function going forward, like on a regular basis. How would that look like? It could be the individual people, maybe. Maybe Paul, uh, what is it, Barnabas and Saul. Yah is speaking to me saying, oh, Barnabas gets up. Yeah, I felt Yah telling me the same thing. So Paul and Barnabas are both on the same page. They both felt, you know, Yah is saying the same thing while they were praying. There could be agreement there too. I mean, I'm sure there's other options, but for me, it's always for, I always glean first to what is the pro, what is the positions, what is the protocol. The prophets are usually the ones that are hearing from Yah and are telling the assembly, telling Israel, "Thus saith Yahuwah." Right? That's the role of a prophet. 